been a difficult week for the royal family, has it not? As they've been rocked by twin scandals of racism accusations and the release of the Netflix trailer of Harry and Meghan's Insider documentary. Prince William and Princess Catherine are currently finishing their trip in the United States, where the Prince of Wales met US President Joe Biden on their final day. Let's now welcome to the studio royal commentator and biographer Angela Levin. So it was a big week. Some people say this is probably the worst week for the royal family, at least the new generation of royal yeah. family. Very difficult for them from all sources, actually, I think. Um, the accusations that they are racist is horrendous, really. And then the um, quite obvious um, got to beat, each one's got to beat the other one. And I think that it looks um, really upsetting that they should come to this. I'm sure that um, Harry and Meghan are very jealous, particularly of Catherine, um, because... You know, she looks stunning in anything she wears. If you saw her last night in mm. this green dress and going along with the feeling that it's um, looking after the planet, she rented it. It cost £72 to rent for the evening. And you think, you know, you, she looks stunning in it and you think, well done. Whereas Merrigan doesn't quite get it right. It doesn't matter to me. It doesn't matter. Dresses is not the important part of it. But I think Megan's always got to win. Whatever she's doing, she's got to win. It does seem unseemly, doesn't it? And they would have known surely about this visit by Kate and Wilms years ago because they would have planned it a long time ago. And then it's like they've gate-crashed what they were doing to launch themselves on top. So it's vicious rivalry. Some might say jealousy. Well, I said jealousy, very jealous, but it's also vicious, as you say. And I think if you see the actual um, bit which shows you what's going to happen, I, I felt quite sick, actually. Oh, this trailer. The trailer. Yeah, the trailer. I, mean, I don't want to go into her privacy, not in the least, but you see all these kisses and lots of attention and you think, well, actually... Um, this is completely inappropriate to do that. We're looking at some of these pictures now, and I have to say, it seems to me as if they've all been staged and all been done. Yes. And there's one in particular, and I thought it was really rather strange, and this is where Meghan looks like she could be crying, and Harry's sitting back and it's like, you don't understand what we're going through. I just wondered, how did you get that photo as if that were at the time where she's in tears with how difficult it was at the royal family and Harry's pulling his hair out. How do you get that photo? Well, you ask a photographer to come along and then you act it. She's an actress. She's been trying to get Harry to be a bit of an actor, but not very successfully. He can't do it. Quite right, too. And So is this just was... auditioning for uh, a film? <laughs> auditioning to do lots of documentaries and look really hurt and fed up. But that one is quite obviously staged and phony. And I think that that's um, appalling thing to do, actually.